Back then, thanks, Matt. It is back to school time for many across East Tennessee, and with that, teachers have to prepare for the new school year, of course. However, a lot of times teachers normally end up investing as much as five to seven hundred dollars out of their own pocket to provide school supplies in their classrooms. That is why the Teacher Supply Depot is around and holding a very special event tomorrow. Here to tell us much more is Scott Bacon with Knox County Schools. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks, Kristen. Glad to be here. Uh, you guys normally open up the depot four times a year. Tomorrow is the first one this summer, so. Uh, uh, big crowds expected? Yeah, we're anticipating 450 to 500 uh, educators will be there tomorrow morning and uh, taking things off the shelves back to the classrooms to be able to uh, take care of kids come Monday morning. Now, when I asked you how stocked up you were, I loved your answer. I've never seen the facility this full of stuff. We've got anything and everything that teachers could possibly think to use in their classrooms. It's a great situation to have. Good summer for us. Yeah, good problem to have there. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, the lottery win here in Knoxville had a little something to do with it that. It sure did. Uh, we were fortunate that first off Kroger sold the ticket. They mm -hmm. won $25,000 as a result of that. And we were one of five organizations that received a check from Kroger as a result of that. And then the lottery winner sent us a check just out of the blue for $15,000. Wow. So uh, we have spent the entire 5,000 from Kroger for tomorrow's event and uh, the shelves are slammed. It's that a good is thing. wonderful. Now, teachers listening right now who have never been down there, maybe this is their first year teaching, what do they need to bring with them that, to get in and what can they expect to find there? Well, they need to bring their ID from, from their school mm -hmm. if they have it. If they don't have one, if they were able to get something from their principal that just verifies that they're a staff member at their school, if they're brand new, that's great. They're going to find a little of everything. Basic ed supplies will be really packed and, and the shelves are full. Anything that you could think of from binders to uh, chairs to um, seasonal items. There are just all kinds of items there that uh, the creativity of teachers can take back and use for the kids. It's great. Is there a limit on how much each teacher can take with them? There is. Uh, we have green pickle buckets that we use to haul, uh, <laughs> up to haul the items around. the Pickle the, buckets? They are pickle buckets. They're green. They're great. Um, but that's what they use to, to actually carry their, their items throughout the, the facility. And then they get bulk items they can carry as well. It won't fit in there. But um, you know, we're not beating them over the head to, you know, on those limits, but, but we do want to be able to take care of everybody that shows up tomorrow. Uh, the doors open at 7 a.m., mm -hmm. and so we want to make sure that when those doors open, we can turn them loose and let them go. And most importantly, the doors close at noon, but if you're already inside, you can keep shopping, right? You better believe it. If you're in there at noon, we're going to let you turn you loose up there and shop, and uh, hopefully you don't stay all afternoon, but we'll, <laughs> we'll get out of there in a reasonable <laughs> hour, I'm sure. All right, Scott, great program. We appreciate you coming in to share all this Thank with you. us. Thank you. Again, everyone, the depot will be open from 7 until noon. It is at the former Cedar Bluff Intermediate School. The school ID, again, as well as a second form of ID, if you have it, should you should have that on you. And for more back-to-school coverage, all you have to do is head over to our website, wate.com.